been known for a long time that uh, profound cooling protects the brain for a long time. I used to wonder whether you could selectively cool the brain. Since we already use catheters and we already like to use cooling, full body cooling has mostly been abandoned for brain surgery. Uh, but for situations like stroke and for some types of brain aneurysms, it kind of makes sense just to cool the area that's going to be losing its blood for a while or has already lost its blood. Our thinking was, what if you just did normal perfusion, normal blood flow through one artery, but you used cold blood? Pathology studies and MRI studies showed that, in fact, the, the brain showed much smaller strokes. Surprisingly, they were tenfold smaller uh, with that fairly simple maneuver of uh, selective cooling. His work here could potentially change the way that we look after patients with strokes. He's a, a great uh, leader in his field and really embodies, I think, the spirit of, uh, of a surgeon scientist. He is somebody who is able to take an idea, develop it, and make it viable, and yet draw in individuals and get them excited about the project. Uh, with that excitement comes productivity, everybody gets excited and, and moves the project forward together. He's always very humble, he doesn't you know, tend to talk too much about his accomplishments, uh, so and that's why we, we thought this would be a great thing to do for him because uh, you know, uh, he should be recognized for all the, the accomplishments that he has achieved. It was humbling because I don't feel like, uh, maybe I don't feel like the leader, I guess I am de facto the leader. Um, I really just feel part of a really great team. So, uh, you know, in, in that sense, uh, I think uh, it's a particular honor uh, from Lawson to, to, to receive this award. And I'm very grateful to the, to the committee, to the Lawson committee that even thought I was worthy of it.